Hi. <laughs> really appreciate you um, letting me come and show That's you right. my bill. Um, I don't understand it at all. Okay. <laughs> so you're concerned about the, the money you're spending, but also that is translating to the amount of electricity you're using, and therefore your carbon emissions. And my ignorance about okay. not knowing how to work out okay. these diagrams. So on the back, you the first thing you can see is that you have two different meter readings. So one's residential, one's residential controlled load. Now the controlled load means that you must have off-peak electric hot water. So do you have that? Um, if you say I do. <laughs> um, so you have a tank, a, a storage tank? Yes, there's a water tank outside my back door. Right, yeah, house. so it's probably a typical hot water tank. It basically heats up overnight when there's off-peak. So the cost per unit, so as you can see, it's nearly 32 cents for normal electricity. It's only 18 cents for the off-peak. But you're still using the same amount. You're still using the same amount of electricity. You're just paying less for it. However, the other thing we can see so, on your um, bill... So the off-peak is... So when... Um, so as you're saying like around 6.30 when everyone's washing their children normally that is, is peak time. Peak time, yeah. And so by having <coughs> this tank outside my door, um, I use up that, it, that fills up overnight when it's off peak, when everyone's yeah. sleeping in Australia, most people anyway. And then um, I can use the water in that tank the following day. Yes, and then it repeats the following night. And so when that water does that water continually top up or I use all the water in the tank? As you, as you draw water out it's replaced with cold water but it's not going to be reheated until the following night. Okay, so that's really yeah. good. Well, yes and no. <laughs> there are alternatives, so the logic one is the solar hot water system. So, so up here it has the little bar charts. Mm -hmm. So this is showing you what your average is. Now it says here that it's 17 and a half kilowatt hours per day so that's how much electricity you use in one how many kilowatts you use in one hour the average in Australia is anything up to 20 or 30 but in and Armidale is that kwh kilowatt hours that's kilowatt yeah, hours yeah. okay um, now it's actually gone down here from the last bill well I think that would have been winter in Armidale um, this bill is August to November so the previous one would have been June July August so it's much higher yeah. The lowest one is obviously your summer one. Mm. So your electricity still costs you more than your hot water because you pay a different rate for it. So in terms of your heating, so what sort of heating do you have? Um, the Just only heating I have is an old oil bar heater. Right, yeah. yeah. And um, I have a fireplace but I don't have a very good strike rate in <laughs> starting fires. Uh, so I usually we everyone in the house has a hot bath at night right. and um, we use blankets and the oil heater I might warm the front room the family room up with yep. that um, some nights but otherwise I just use it to dry school uniforms that may not have right. um, been able to dry properly so of the weather. first thing you can do is council has a kit on how to use your fire, so about what kind of wood, how to light it, how to rub it so it doesn't smoke and how to get the most efficiency out of the timber that you use. So if I use my fire yeah, um, talk about more that. efficiently, if I use my fireplace more then my electricity bill can do. Possibly. So in terms of the house, do you have decent curtains? I do. Yeah, um, very thick velvet curtains to the floor, but I don't have pelmet. But the curtains are probably the most critical part of that, and that is remembering to close them as soon as the sun goes down it starts to chill, but also opening them up during the day so that the sun can come That's in. something I don't yeah. do. My house is a cave, <laughs> and um, I didn't. I thought I was doing the right thing by just keeping my curtains closed all the time. No, no, no. Beautiful sunny winter's days. Even open the door on a sunny winter's day and let the air in. Um, mainly for the north facing rooms, so your house is on the north side of the street which means your backyard is into the, into the north, mm -hmm. so let the sun come in during the day by all means, but then certainly as soon as the sun goes down then close it up, and particularly rooms on the south side, and also only heat the rooms so you're what, using. So what do I have to do to the rooms on the south side? So make sure that they're closed up. At night time? Yeah. Yes, right. yes. If you can close off areas you're not using, so if there's a bedroom or a hallway that you're not using, close those doors so that you're heating a smaller space and then your heating becomes much more efficient. 
Okay. And of course, you know, a jumper and Ugg boots will do work wonders. So wearing the appropriate clothes, not wanting to run around in t-shirts in the middle of winter. Mm -hmm. the draft seal, so, so it's, you know, the $5 snake makes a huge difference. And any gaps, and often with a double hung window, you could actually put the snake across the top there because there's often gaps, and particularly if you're in an old window oh, house. Yes, I've got those. So windows. it's about sealing up all those gaps. But also, having said that, it's really good to open one window at night so that you're getting fresh air and circulation. Okay. <coughs> so yeah, I was at a friend's place and um, uh, she was closing her curtains in the early afternoon. It was about like four o'clock. What time would you... Uh, sunset, like seven o'clock? It depends what time of year or, it is. Well, in um, winter time. In winter, but I think it does get cold and dark about five-ish. So yeah, half past four or five in the very middle of winter. So when it's yeah. getting cold, not necessarily when it's getting dark. So basically once that temperature outside starts to drop, there's no benefit of that light coming in anymore. It's not giving you any what they call solar gain. So whereas okay. while the sun is shining, you certainly get the heat coming in. Um, and just so then getting back to your electricity use. Yeah. Um, it on its own is still, it's not horrifically high, but it's still higher than... It could be. So, for instance, what kind of lights do you have? Are they down lights? Do you know? Or are they um, fluorescents or uh, the wiggly ones? <laughs> I've got a couple of the wiggly ones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all the lights are either fixed onto the ceiling. Yeah. There's only one light in each room. Yeah. I don't have like a modern down light yes, system. Yeah. So it's either fixed on the ceiling or it hangs down. Right. Yeah. And some of them are the wiggly yeah. ones. Yeah. Because someone. Um, uh, Drop them by my front door. I think there's a okay. government yep. yep. sent here. Yep. You would have got six lights in the shower head. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've got the shower head. Yeah, yeah. which I don't feel any difference yeah, from no, actually. So good. that was really good. Yeah. So with the lights, um, the compact fluoro uses a lot less electricity than the normal, the old incandescent bulbs we used to have. They don't get as hot. Is that and the wiggly one? The wiggly ones. Okay. Yeah. So they're yeah. the good ones. Go they're the good ones. Okay. There's newer technology again now with LEDs, but that's fine. That's a good start. Um, appliances. So do you have, what sort of appliance do you have? Electrical gadgets and things? Um, I've got the kettle, uh, juicer, we juice a lot these days. Um, I have a gas stove. Okay. Um, so televisions and videos? And yes. Yes. <laughs> and do you turn uh, them off at the wall? No. So that little red light that stays on, that's using power. So that's what's called standby power. When you turn things off at the machine but not on the wall, all that standby power can add up to about seven to about ten percent of your energy usage. So oh really? Ten percent. Ten percent. So, so you're saying like so seven, that two hundred and twenty dollars. Twenty dollars is leaving a twenty dollars is, is leaving all those things on oh. as a ballpark. So turn all them of off them, the not wall. one. All yeah. of the things throughout the house. So just get in the habit of turning them off at the wall. Microwave is another one. Well, look, there's some things like the TV plug. Yeah. That I can't get to because I've got a big. Yeah. Is there something you can get? Well, you you could get a um, power little power board with an extension cord, and then the power board with individual switches. So that you're only the problem with if it doesn't have individual switches, as well as turning everything off at once, you're also turning it on at once when you don't need to. So have individual switches, and then you just turn on the things you need. And again, um, most hardware stores would have them. Okay. So it only needs to be a short extension cord, and maybe with four outlets on it. But doesn't that mean the extension cord still? The inst extension cord still plugged in, but there's no power going anywhere into the. It's only going into the power board. It's not putting it. it Anything so into mach yeah. machinery. Yeah, yeah. So the saying is if it blinks, turn it off. So okay. anything's got the little red light showing, um, radios, TVs, mm -hmm. um, video machines, game, Xbox, mm, things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lap and definitely laptops. It's worth turning them off. Um, okay. So what else do you have that uses energy? Do you think? Well, there's a fridge. I've got a big fridge, two door. Fridge. Is it an old one or a new one? Or? Um, I, there is that the star, yeah. and um, I think I'm just past halfway. Okay, so. yeah. yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really hard to justify replacing something that's working efficiently. So you oh. might save a dollar by having a more efficient fridge. You might save two dollars by turning oh, your computer see. off. You, you know, you might only save twenty cents by turn the light off when you leave the room. But all those mm -hmm. things add up to a four hundred dollar electricity bill. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the other thing, of course, with all these things that 
it still comes down to behaviour. Mm -hmm. So having a really efficient fridge is not going to help if it's left open. And for instance, in the morning, you know, you might get the milk out and then the kid gets the butter out and someone else gets the yogurt out. So try to sort of do that efficiently. I mean, the average person uses you mean them, open the open fridge their fridges 20 times and get a day. Out. Yeah. And, then yeah. Yeah. and the average person opens their fridge 20 times a day. When I read that, I didn't believe it, and I tried it, and it's true. So try to think, okay, get everything out at once. Um, the toaster, you know, don't cook one piece and then another piece. Try to put them together. When you boil the kettle, only put as much water as you need. Don't necessarily fill the kettle. Mm -hmm. I've got this um, alarm clock that we you sit your... Uh, iPod or your... Right, yeah. Was that a good idea to get? So I thought, oh, well, that's two in one. Except you don't need to leave it charging 24 hours a day. Mm. It only needs to, once it's charged, disconnect it, take the iPod out or turn off the charger. And the same with the phones and, the, and, and even computers. Once they're charged, it will keep using electricity when it doesn't need to. The same with your phone, with your laptops. Once they're charged, turn them off and then run them off the battery until they need recharging. Okay. So make take advantage of the fact that they can run for battery as well. Yeah. But, um, understanding this bill. Yeah. Is it in the bill? <laughs> um, okay, I can see by the bar chart that I. So this is this is winter where the bar is very high, and this is summer where the bar is very low, and that's because of your hot water usage. Because mm -hmm. the other issue in winter too is the water coming into the tank, particularly in Armadale, is very very cold. So it mm. takes more energy to heat it up and it also pulls the heat of the water in there down as well. So it would be much better inside than out. Yeah, and again, the tank's outside, it's not insulated. No. Um, if you can't replace, I mean, ideally, if you could replace it with a solar hot water system with your tank inside, and if the tank itself is in, say, the laundry or a cupboard, you can double that as a, a drying room. So you hang up a load of washing and it will be dry within 24 hours, just from the heat that's coming from the tank. If you must keep your tank outside, try and get it boxed in and insulated. So every again, the insulation in the tanks is very narrow and that's why they cool down. So having a storage system that's sitting there overnight when it's minus well, the whatever. the pipes even freeze. Yeah, so lag your Sometimes. pipes. Um, if there's any exposed pipes, just wrap what they call lagging, but you can use anything. You could use old rags, you could use some, you know, the bulk insulation, so anything you can find. I think it has some of that on it now. So just make sure all your exposed pipes are insulated and if you can get under your house, if you're in a weatherboard, any of those pipes insulate them as well. And again, wasting hot water is always such an issue. So if your kids are just going to wash their hands for two seconds, they turn the hot water tap on, they use the water, but it's probably still cold water they've used. No, they don't even wash their hands with cold, cold water. water. They do turn the, um, don't don't have the tap running when they're brushing their teeth. Good, good. But I am very conscious of the sound of that tap going when they're washing their hands. Yeah. You know, it might just be the kind of tap, so yeah. they seem to, all the, there's no sort of light flow at all. Okay, do you have any flick mixes that. or individual taps? Um, individual taps, but one spout. Out, yeah. And, um, and in the kitchen, the same? Yes, throughout the whole house. Yeah, yeah. okay. And you've had your shower head replaced, obviously, so that's yeah. reducing your water flow. So if you're using less water, then you're losing less hot water as well. So is there something like that that you can put on your tap? You can put aerators into the basin tap. I wouldn't bother putting it in the bathtub because you're going to fill the bath, you're going to fill the bath. But yeah. certainly the basin tap, you can put an aerator in that, and again, you'll get it from five dollars from the hardware shop. Oh okay well that's what I need then. And that just screws up and that reduces the flow again so they're not wasting as much water. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And okay. the kitchen should have that as well. Yeah. yeah. And laundry. Okay. Yeah. And you wash it in cold water? Oh always. Yeah. 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 Which is pretty easy these days. Yeah. Someone said to me but you can't get your clothes clean um, unless you use <laughs> hot water and that's how <laughs> What are you doing? No, no, no. I've always used cold water. <laughs> so is this a little bit clearer then? Uh, so why don't they give you the two charts? So okay, so this is your chart. energy usage and this is your emissions. So this is how many tonnes of carbon dioxide equivalent that because you're using coal-fired electricity that you are generating. It looks directly related to the it bar is, chart. It is. Yeah. So the more electricity you use, the more emissions you use, mm -hmm. you create. So the less electricity, the less emissions. So the incentive, as well as you're saving money, is you're saving the planet oh, okay. by using less electricity. Have, okay. yeah. Yeah. So it all starts to add up. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of ironing. Last question. Okay. I okay. do a yep. real lot of ironing. Yep. Is there um, a time? When and how do you do it? 
Um, like do I, do I iron one shirt in the morning or do you stand there for three hours and do it all in one hit? Uh, I used to do it all in one hit, but now I um, do it daily. Okay, so... And uniforms every day. So is there a way that you can perhaps do it bulk? Because every time you're... If you're using the iron for one hour a week, that is less energy than if you're using it for five minutes five times. Because each time you use it from scratch, it's got to heat up. Whereas um, if once it's on, it's on. So it's actually more efficient to do your ironing in bulk if you possibly can. Oh, okay. Well, I could get some more second-hand uniforms from the schools yeah. that they can... And then do and two. Do it and, yeah. 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 Yes. But even with your, you know, your clothes, if you shake them before you hang them out on the line, they don't get as creased. Um, I've never known that trick. <laughs> so, so because I've got a lot of friends that say they never iron. Yeah. So, so when you take it out of the machine, just give it a good shake. And also hang it inside out because the UV in Armadale is quite strong, so that stops them fading. So yeah, give them a good shake. It stretches the fibres, hang them on the line, and then take them straight from the line to the clothes hanger. And you can often get away with our ironing. From the line to the close, oh right, in the cupboard, yeah, yeah I yeah. fold most yeah. things, but yeah. okay, yeah. So again, a lot of it's behaviour. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 well. And also you do full loads I'd like of to decrease my ironing. ironing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but ironing in bulk is more efficient than just turning it on for one shirt each morning, which so many people do, yeah. Because each time you do it, it's got to heat up from scratch, so, yeah. That's that really good to know. Yeah. Yeah. And again, when the time comes to replace your iron, they, most products now will have a kilowatt usage and or a star rating. So just you look for the things with the lowest wattage on them. Can you please um, tell me this service availability, okay. yep. there's, it's down twice. 125 okay. yep. and also 12 dollars. So is everyone the same? Everyone is the same. That's the cost you pay for the privilege of having your electricity come to the house. As distinct yeah. from above is your actual usage. This is what they call a headworks charge. Now the reason you have two is because you have two meters. So again, if you didn't have, if you replaced, were able to replace your off-peak with a solar hot water system that had a manual booster, you would save on the cost of that second meter service, service availability, mm. which in this case is only about twelve dollars, but that's twelve times four, yeah. and it all adds up. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then you're asking about this low income rebate. That's you get that they're reducing that for you. So in fact, fact your electricity bill is about five hundred and sixty dollars, but you're getting this. Um, credit back off it because of the low income. Well that is quite high. Yes. Because that's that's um, just over half my um, winter bill. Yes. So yeah. I would have thought my summer bill would be like 30% of my winter bill. Yeah, and that's that because actually... of the hot water and the... Yeah. Mm. But again, if you can just shave a little bit off in all those different areas, cumulatively, that will add up to significant savings and reduction in energy. And I've, I would have I've imagined that my summer bill would be much that much lower because yeah. it's so cold in Armadale. For, in winter. In winter. Yeah. So that's yeah. why I, th I thought it would only be about a third. Yeah, yeah. So I do need to make changes to save money where I can. Absolutely. And save mm -hmm. and reduce emissions. Yeah, that's right. The environment. <laughs> yeah. And set that, um, you know, good example to my children yeah. to, so they grow up nature. aware yes. when we'll they're buying anything. Too. Yeah. Yep. As well as moving around the house. Yeah. I really appreciate it. That's right. Pleasure. I, I feel like I've had a light bulb moment. <laughs> Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's great. Okay, yeah. excellent.